<laughs> hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Glad you guys are with us. Just having a nice little morning with the bison. Came to check on them and you can just come out here. I just stop, watch, and listen. And I could do it forever, but I can't. I got too much stuff to do. So today I'm going to try to spray some of these guys. I got to get them up and feed them. Normally they're up in the morning, but today it's such a nice cool morning. They like those cool mornings. So they're out here grazing. I'm going to get them up, try to get them some feed. And then what I want to do is spray their backs. And then also I put some loose mineral out. I'm going to show you that process here. I put that loose mineral out first before the bison would even come because you, when you got stuff to do in the past, you get it done when they're not around because once they hear or see you, uh, here they come running. But you think okay all right so we'll try that and see how it goes anytime the bison are away you've got to take your opportunity that they're not in here right now got our loose mineral up and uh fiona's checking it out but we're building a new corral system and so that's why we blocked them off from their actual normal feeding area i've had to block it off because when you set these posts you can't let the bison in there because the first thing they'll do is go rub on it. It's a single, you know, two and three eighths pole and uh, they'll uh, they'll go rub on it. And of course, we we want those to be nice and square and straight and not crooked. So we've had to lock them out of there for oh, it's been about a week now. Um, and then we'll keep them out of there about another week until we get this thing done. The favorite right there. Hey Eleanor. Hey girl. Hey. So these are our two guys that are going to the sale in uh, less than a month. This is our firstborn one right here. You know, it's kind of tough to get rid of. These uh, these are both good little bulls, but this is part of the business that we're in. And unfortunately, don't need these guys. As part of the Oklahoma Bison Association, um, we're going to try to support that and can help support the Bison Association by selling animals there. So there you go. We're going to sell our two first yearling bulls some of you guys are probably wondering how much they weigh i'm gonna say anywhere from 550 pounds to 650 that's the range they're at i could be way off but going off of their last weights which was 400 and 430 i'm gonna say they're a little bit heavier since the spring hey come on you better load up let's go come on let's go let's go load up come on let's go let's go Better get over there. You guys want some feed? Not nah, cool. Here they come. Oh, okay. Really? Hey, little guys. Eleanor. Hey, girl. Oh, that wasn't very nice. 
You hungry, fellas? Gripey there. Didn't take you guys long. Calves are ready to go. Uh, come on. Come on. Feed us. Hey, Bill. All right. You guys are tired of waiting on me. All right, so now that the now that they're all eaten, now's your chance to spray. I don't think he liked that very much. He's mad at me. Dunbar just pushes everybody off the feed. What's wrong with everybody? Dunbar's mad at me. He gone. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> They're not liking that. Hey, little guys. Here comes Dunbar, he's back. You still mad at me? Huh? Sorry about it. Give him a little bit more feed. Something comfortable. See, she's got a little wound there. Not sure what from. Well, that's really surprising. That's Qualpaw. She's pretty feisty. I'm surprised she let me do that. Hey, Eleanor. Come on. Come on. Come here. Right here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. See, she's... Eleanor is too afraid. She's too afraid to come over here. Eleanor likes to rub on trees and she gets some open wounds every now and then. Hey, but she's eating. I'm good. I'm happy with that. And I'm able to spray her. A lot of, a lot of feistiness going on this morning. He's got some flies on him. If there's one that's not gonna let me spray her, it's right there, it's Dakota. That was our sick cow. Man, she looks a ton better. She's come a long way. 
She's uh she's pretty distant from me. She's not gonna let me. <sighs> that is success right there. There's a lot of people not able to do this, and you have to do uh, fly prevention in different ways. You've seen I've used the rub before. You can do all sorts of those type of rubs, but that right there, you you can't get any better than that. Direct spraying right there on the back. Now, there's a lot of big ranches out there that can't do that. Their bison won't even come up to them. You can't even get this close to bison. But there's a lot of places like mine, some smaller ranches and farms that raise bison and that get used to people and you can do stuff like this. So all we really use is Promethean. This is a, a concentrate you mix with water. Just got a little handheld sprayer here. Sucker can shoot pretty far. So just another way to prevent flies. All right, you guys see that, Eleanor's eating. And she let me spray her, which is good. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just doing some daily things. Kevin feeds them quite a bit um, because he's here more than I am. Um, my mom and... That was not good. That one right there, Queen Bee. She, see those horns? She loves to use those horns. She will knock the tar out of some of these bison. Things, Kevin feeds them quite a bit. Um, because he's here. And that's what just happened right there. See all these guys standing around, they're like, nah, screw that. Eleanor, she's she's sneaking in there though. Okay, can I do my closing? You guys good with that? Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Oh, this is uh this is fun stuff right here, right? We'll be able to spray them, got some mineral out. We'll see how that goes and see if they like it. They're not gonna um they're not gonna eat it right now because uh they're entertained with their food so these are some, just some daily activities uh you i can spray them it would be very helpful if you could spray them once a week that would be ideal if some of you can't get that close to your bison you really can't do that if you can get on them um, once or twice a month i think that would be good don't forget about the sale november 14th is the sale it's in perkins oklahoma i've been talking to uh some of our oklahoma bison association members Talk to Doc Parsons. I think this may be our biggest sale ever. I don't want to hype it up too much because a lot of people say that they're going to bring so many animals. Uh, we've heard about uh, some big loads of bison that are coming this way, which is great because we want a big sale and it's at the very beginning of the sale season. Custer State Park is the first one. It's always the first weekend in November. And then ours is, is, is right there after Custer State Park. Custer State Park sale you notice they had their roundup just recently they round those animals up they sort them out and then they have their annual sale that one kind of sets the bar as far as sales go and then ours follows right after it ours is obviously in northern oklahoma so you can pull a lot of uh southern herds or southern producers and uh consumers um it may be a pretty big sale for us if you're around or want to come to that november 14th in perkins oklahoma come to the oklahoma bison association sale it'll be a lot of fun also i am going to lubbock texas i announced this in my last video going to the charles addington ranch out there and i've never been out there i've been to lubbock but i've never been to charles's place i know charles through bison association stuff i'm gonna go out there with doc parsons my bison guy the bison guy I'm going to go out there with him. I just volunteered to go out and see another ranch and asked him if I could take the camera along and try to work the bison and um, work some different bison, see uh, the Addington's ranch and see how they operate their bison. And then also try to try to get a video out there and show some other ranches around. I've thought about doing I've talked about doing this uh, with my wife and we've talked about going around to some other ranches to try to show you guys about bison ranching and to, uh, how everybody does their own ranching. So I'm gonna go out to Lubbock and I'll try to put that video out as soon as I can. So um, that'll be fun and entertaining, I'm sure. I'm gonna try to bring you along 
out on a bison ranch in Lubbock, Texas. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Follow us along. Guys, this is the American bison right here. There's no greater mammal in North America right here. Once almost extinct is right here, and we're able to take care of these guys with a lot of love and care. Thank you, guys.